The Life and Sad Ending of Lauren Hutton Lauren Hutton was born Mary Lawrence Hutton on November 17, 1943, in Charleston, South Carolina, the U.S. Her parents were Lawrence and Minnie Hutton. Her father was stationed in England during the Second World War, and after the war, her mother divorced him and relocated to Miami. Hutton never got to know her father, who died in 1955. Her mother remarried, and her stepfather was abusive towards her. She completed her schooling at Chamberlain High School in Tampa in 1961. She later attended the University of South Florida. She then went to Newcomb College in New Orleans from where she graduated with a bachelor's degree in arts. Hutton returned to New York in the mid-1960s, changed her name to Lauren Hutton, and started her career as a model after relocating to New York. She posed for magazines such as, Playboy, and in 1968, she appeared in her first advertisement for Chanel. In 1973, Hutton signed a contract with Revlon Cosmetics, worth US$250,000 a year for 20 days' work, a professional relationship that lasted for 10 years. At the time, it was the biggest contract in the history of the modeling industry. Hutton's initial contract with Revlon involved the representation of the Ultima II brand. Twenty years later, she signed a new contract with Revlon to be the spokeswoman for Results, a collection of corrective moisturizing treatments. Her contract with Revlon garnered Hutton further modeling work, and she became a cover girl, appearing on the front cover of Vogue a record 26 times. In 1988, she appeared in a campaign for Barney's New York, and in 1993, performed as a runway model for designer Calvin Klein, to which the New York Times responded by publishing an article stating that Hutton was just as good as the current flock of fledglings. In 1997, Hutton became a brand ambassador and appeared in multiple advertising campaigns for the Australian department store David Jones. In 2001, she was replaced by Megan Gale. Hutton was presented on the November 1999 Millennium cover of American Vogue as one of the modern muses. Following her recovery from a motorcycle accident in 2000, she became the spokeswoman for her own signature brand of cosmetics, Lauren Hutton's Good Stuff, a line of cosmetic products for mature women. In October 2005, Hutton was interviewed on ABC's Good Morning America program in relation to the future release of an edition of Big Magazine that was entirely dedicated to Hutton's career and included eight pages of nude photos. Hutton agreed to pose nude for the feature, titled Lauren Hutton, The Beautiful Persists When She Was 61 Years Old. In 2008, Hutton accepted an offer from Mary Kate and Ashley Olson to appear in the lookbook for their clothing line The Row. During the same year, retailer Mango launched a fashion collection inspired by Hutton's personal style, and she also appeared in Lord and Taylor's fall, winter, and spring collections. The following year, she was featured in a campaign by Badgley Mishka. Held in May 2009, the discussion occurred at New York's Manetta Tavern. Photographs of Hutton were also displayed as part of the exhibition The Model as Muse, embodying fashion that was taking place at the Met and acknowledged the significance of fashion models. A third-party licensing brand of the Jim Henson Company, Henson Independent Properties, HIP, entered into an agreement with Hutton in November 2010 to act as the global licensing agent for her merchandising program. Targeted at women over 40 years of age, the brand launched products such as eyewear, handbags, and luggage, and home decor, globally in 2012. Hutton was also a guest judge on the fashion designer reality television show Project Runway in 2010, also appearing in advertisements for J. Crew the same year. In 2011, Hutton walked the runway for Tom Ford's Spring 2012 collection and was selected as the house model for the Alexis Bitter jewelry brand. Hutton then appeared alongside people such as actress Shuya Chong and Annie Lennox's daughter Taylai Lennox in the spring 2011 ad campaign for the Club Monaco retail brand. 
She appeared in a campaign title Do Something by designer Alexander Wang, alongside Rod Stewart and Kate Moss in 2015, and was featured in Todd's Timeless Icons retrospective in 2016. She was also featured in H&M's Fall 2016 video campaign alongside Hari NEF. In 2016 for Milan Fashion Week, Hutton walked the runway for Bottega Veneta's Spring 2017 show. In addition to modeling, she also participates in acting. Lauren Hutton made her acting debut in the 1968 sports comedy film, Paper Lion. It was based on a non-fiction book of the same name by George Plimpton. The film was directed by Alex March. Hutton appeared in the film, Pieces of Dreams, Little Foss and Big Halsey, and My Name is Rocco Papaleo, in the ensuing years. She started gaining popularity after her appearance in the 1974 crime drama film, The Gambler. Directed by Carol Rice, the film starred actors such as James Caan, Paul Sorvino, and Burt Young. The film was mostly appreciated by the critics. Her movie, Gator, which was released in 1976, was met with negative reviews. It was directed by Burt Reynolds. Her next movie, Welcome to L.A., however, received critical acclaim. It was directed by Alan Rudolph. Her first role on TV was in the TV film, A Time for Love, which was released in 1973. In 1977, she was seen in the miniseries, The Rhineman Exchange. She continued to appear in TV films like, Someone's Watching Me, 1978, and, The Cradle Will Fall, 1983, in the next few years. Her next significant film role was in the crime drama movie, American Gigolo, in 1980, which was a commercial success. It received mixed to positive reviews. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, she appeared in several films, including, Paternity, in 1981, Lassifer, in 1984, Malone, in 1987, Run for Your Life, in 1988, Fear, in 1990, My Father the Hero, in 1994, 54, in 1998 and, Just a Little Harmless Sex, 1998. Meanwhile, she also appeared in TV films, such as, Monte Carlo, in 1986, Perfect People, in 1988 and, We the Jury, in 1996, and TV series such as, Central Park West, 1995-1996. She made her return to the big screen in the 2009 film, The Joneses. The film was directed by Derek Borte. It was a commercial failure earning only $7 million on a budget of $10 million. The reviews were mixed to positive. In 2013, she appeared in the short film, Walking Stories. Her most recent work was the 2018 comedy film, I Feel Pretty. In personal life, Lauren Hutton was involved in a few romantic relationships though she was never married. She was in a long-term relationship with her manager Bob Williamson from 1964 to 1997. In July 2013, Hutton revealed that she was in the process of writing her memoir, which may be titled Smile, and also explained the value of traveling and exploration in her life. Probably, right now is her worst time when her health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Lauren Hutton like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.